I'm Anita Paul and I am your host for BizLinks TV. We broadcast live from the BizLink Center here in Duluth, Georgia. I am so happy to be joined today by Lynn Hicks. She is with the Georgia African American Chamber of Commerce. Lynn, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me out Absolutely. Today. Glad to have you. Tell us a little bit about the Chamber of Commerce and your interaction with it. Okay, the Georgia African American Cham Chamber of Commerce recently changed the name as of last Friday, October 21st, from the Georgia Black Black Chamber of Commerce. I literally was asked to become a part of the board two weeks ago, and so we had our swearing-in ceremony last Friday. Congratulations. And very, thank you. I am very, very honored. The chamber seeks to help entrepreneurs take their businesses from where they are to where they want to be. And our goal is to provide resources, training, education, tools to help them be successful. So members of the chamber can have access to many tools and resources that come available to the chamber through our networking and collaborations. I like that concept of providing training and education to entrepreneurs because oftentimes people think that if you have a great idea, you can just jump in there with both feet and make it happen. That's not true. That is not true because you want to take your hobby to a business level, you need lots and lots of things other than luck, <laughs> other than <laughs> luck, for sure. But we are here just to be able to say, hey, you need to have your marketing strategy, you need to have your business plan, how do you see your vision for your business, what is you going to do, who's your target market, things that in general people don't necessarily think about. They just know, I'm good at this, I can, I can write a book, I can speak in public, I can mow that lawn and make it look like the best lawn around, but it takes a lot more than your passion, but passion is a big part of your success. And our goal, too, is to reach out to people who have a passion and are living that passion and making money from that passion because we understand that your passion fills your dreams. Absolutely. And so we can hook your passion with your tools and resources. You can be a profitable entity. Very good. Now, are you finding more people moving into entrepreneurship now? Yes, and that's a, that's a great thing yes. because I personally have been a serious proponent for entrepreneurship. My true passion has always been to help people become entrepreneurs. I feel that if you want to go out and work for someone else, that's all well and good. But at the same time, you should have your own. Mm -hmm. You should have your own and you have as many sources and streams of income as possible. Okay. And one of them definitely needs to be your own business. Okay. And being able to develop one that you can leave as a legacy for your family and friends. Right. Very good. We are talking with Lynn Hicks. She is with the Georgia African American Chamber of Commerce. You are watching BizLinks TV, and I'm Anita Paul, your host. You know, the woman who is the founder of the BizLinks Center, where we broadcast live, Pamela Adams, is what I call a serial entrepreneur. She is awesome. She, like, starts a business, gets it going, goes on to the next thing. How easy is that for people to do? It depends on the person. That's an individual thing. I couldn't make a blanket statement about the ease of that. Because mm -hmm. for someone like Pamela, it's second nature. For mm -hmm. other people, it would be very difficult because a lot of times people are just, I won't say narrow-sighted or right. have just that tonal vision, but they can only focus on one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. And for them, that's what they should do, focus right. on those one things. But those who can multitask and see different visions and empower those visions, I think it's very powerful and possible for them to do that and succeed. So give some tips. You talk about being focused. What are like three to five things that new entrepreneurs should focus on? Focus really on your big picture, your vision. Why is it that you want to start a business? You know, is it just to fulfill the passion, which is truly, I think, the best reason to start it, is not about just to make a buck. Mm -hmm. Because if that's why you're going into it, it really is going to be more likely than not unsuccessful okay. because you have to like what you do or love what you do basically mm -hmm. because the hours can be long when you're working for yourself it's not going in punching at eight and punching out at five it's punching <laughs> in at eight and punching out at five the next morning <laughs> or right. five two days right. later right. so have the passion second you need to have a support system mm -hmm. if you're married or involved in a relationship you have to know that those people who are closest to you got your back right. and are there to support you because it's very difficult that's and a lot of times they don't, if someone doesn't understand that passion or understand that, you know, you're really on this quest for success for your business, 
then it can create havoc and derail you from succeeding. Very good tip. Third, make sure that you understand that there's going to be a serious financial investment. Um, and that's not to say that when you start your business, you should go out and get a loan for $10,000, 20000 30000 dollars $100,000. Do not look at it as going into debt to get the business started. Right. But understand that you need to have something set aside that's going to sustain you as you get your business off the ground. Okay. Prepare for that and understand that it can be a sacrifice. But if it's worth it for your passion to right. live the lifestyles of your dreams, I say go for it. Good tips. And Good tips. join the Georgia African American Chamber of Commerce. How can people do that? What's the website? <laughs> the website is georgiablackchamber.org. Okay. Georgiablackchamber.org. This is Lynn Hicks with the Georgia African American Chamber of Commerce. I'm Anita Paul, your host on BizLinks TV. We'll see you next time.